Hello and welcome. I'm Sachin Brahme with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. In this video, we'll talk about how to set up and use the virtual opt-out feature in Avaya Proactive Contact. This video is applicable to only the soft dialer version of the Proactive Contact. The virtual opt-out is a new feature introduced for PC 5.0 and later versions. This feature allows a customer called by a virtual campaign running on the Proactive Contact to opt out of the recorded message by pressing a digit on his phone and get himself to talk with the live agent. And of course, the virtual recorded message being played to the customer should clearly state which digit should he press to opt out of the recorded message. So apart from your main content in your message, it should also contain something like, if you wish to talk to one of our associates, please press 9 on your phone or something like that. In a hard dialer version of the proactive contact, there were two possible configurations for opt-out. That is opt-out to a VDN or opt-out to an inbound or a blend job. But since in the soft dialer version, the proactive contact does not have any inbound or a blend job running, we have only one option here and that is to opt-out to a VDN. The associated vector in this VDN should first deliver the recorded message intended for that virtual campaign. Then during the message or at the ending of the message, if the customer presses a digit, the vector should collect that digit as an input and if the correct opt-out digit is received, it should route the call to a skill where the agents are available to take calls. If an incorrect digit is received from the customer, simply hang up the call. Certain important things to note here as a prerequisite for this feature to work in a soft dialer configuration. The communication manager should have the Avaya CC Deluxe package or the Avaya CC Elite package installed. And as for the hardware, there must be at least one TN744 call classifier pack or a TN2182 tone clock circuit pack installed. Let's now look at how this is set up. In the soft dialer version, there is no specific setting for the opt-out on the job side. The way the opt-out happens is dependent on the VDN on the communication manager. And as you would know, the soft dialer does not have a switch of its own, so it uses the resources on the communication manager to play the recorded message for the virtual job. I'm connected to the editor application of a soft dialer. I'll open a virtual job here. And the script label that you use on your job will have a step to play the recorded message. For example, in this virtual job, the wait queue script label being used is wart1 underscore f. And if we go to the script section, under the messages and scripts, this script wart1 underscore f should have a step to play the recorded message. In this case, it is message number 5. And now if we go to the messages section, It shows 51078 in the extension column for the message number 5. So 51078 is the VDN number on the communication manager to which this message is corresponding. So this means that when a call is made by this virtual job, the customer will be connected to this VDN on the communication manager and will be played the recorded message from within the vector associated to this VDN. And the opt-out digit will also be collected by the vector. Now let's briefly check that configuration also on the communication manager. So I'm connected to the communication manager. In our example, the VDN number is 51078. So on the communication manager, if I do a display VDN 51078, you'll see the vector number that is designated to this VDN, which is 188 here. So now if I do a display vector 188, it will give me the details of the call vector. You see the announcement number there, which is 10049. This is the recorded message played to the customer. Then the step two is telling to collect the opt-out digit from the customer. And if the pressed digit is zero, then stop playing the message and route the call to the skill 11011. And this is the skill where the agents must be logged in and available to take the call. You can actually further configure this step 2 to collect more than one digits and find if one of them is digit 0 that matches our criteria. And if the customer does not press a digit or press a wrong digit, then the call is hung up immediately. And please note that since in this example we are looking for the digit 0 to be pressed by the customer, 
your recorded message that is the announcement number 10049 for our example should also clearly state that please press zero to talk to one of our associates etc so this is how the customer will be able to opt out of the recorded message and get himself to talk with the live agent now how does the proactive contact come to know if the opt out was successful or not in the master.cfg there is this parameter called opt out vdns here you have to manually put the vdn numbers where the call is routed by the communication manager so in our example we put the vdn number 11011 here the proactive contact monitors this vdn through a cti link and when the customer opts out if the call lands into this vdn the proactive contact knows that the opt out is successful and if it does not then the opt out was unsuccessful any change to this master configuration file needs a command line access so if you want to make any changes here please call our wire support to get them done and there are two different completion codes for these two results in the editor under the completion code section you will find the code opt out and opt out fail so depending on if the opt out was successful or it failed the system will use one of these completion codes to dispose the customer's record one last thing which i want to show you here under the feature related system parameters on the communication manager the page number 11 has the setting for prompting timeout in seconds this tells how much time will the communication manager wait for digit collection that is how much time will the communication manager wait for the customer to press a digit after he has listened to the recorded message and before the communication manager hangs up the call the minimum setting for this parameter is 4 seconds and maximum is 10 seconds so in this video we saw how to set up and use the virtual opt out feature for a soft dialer version of the proactive contact with that we come to the end of this video thank you for watching this video for any questions or feedback you may write to us at mentor@wire.com or at wire mentor on twitter for more details and other technical information please visit support.wire.com thank you for choosing a wire